Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to create a web notification system using the Web Push API. We will use a Node.js server, a service worker and an HTML file. I have already created a simple Node.js server which has two endpoints. A post endpoint with subscribe which handles subscription request and indicates that the subscription is successful. A get endpoint is our second endpoint with set notification URL. It sends a notification to the client. The notification includes a title and a random number to demonstrate that it's a new notification. Additionally, the server is set to send notifications to the client every 10 seconds. Now let's add our service worker file. A service worker is a script that runs in the background of your web application, separate from your main browser thread. We use it as a network proxy, intercepting network requests and enabling push notifications. In our service worker, we need to add a listener for push events, then parse the incoming data as a JSON. To do it, we need to take data from our event and run JSON function. Then we need to show a notification with the parsed data using the show notification function and set the body of the notification. So let's take title as the first argument and body field in the object of the second argument. This service worker listens for push events and displays notifications. Now let's rate our index HTML. Let's add the title of the page, let it be push notifications demo and the same title on the page and a button to subscribe for notifications. When we click on the button, we start receiving notifications from the back end. Now let's add the JavaScript to our HTML file. We need a public web e, which we receive from the back end. I will run the server and copy pass it manually later. Next. Add the server URL, which in this case is our local host. Now let's add a re event listener to the subscribe button. First, we need to find our button. So let's write the get element by ID with ID of the button. We'll use add event listener with the re event. And here we'll call the subscribe user function. If there are any errors, We'll log them to the console. It will be anonymous function where we'll run subscribe user function with edge handler. So if we have any errors, we just log these errors to the console. Now let's define our subscribe user function. First, we register our service worker. Let's create new variable register and use navigator service worker register with the path of our worker file with scope of the service worker. Then we need to check if there is any existing subscription. If there is, we unsubscribe from it. Otherwise, we subscribe using register push manager subscribe. This method requires an object with two properties. So let's first check if we have already existing subscribes and unsubscribe if we have. In another case, we need to use subscribe function. So let's subscribe using register.pushmanager subscribe. This method requires an object with two properties. The first one is user visible only, ensure that the subscription will only be used for push messages that are visible to user and application server E. This requires URL by 64 to unit 8 array. This function needs to convert the webit public E from a base 64 URL save string to unit 8 array. You don't need to worry about how to write this conversation function. We'll use a predefined one to speed up the process. The last step is to add a fetch function to send our subscription object to the server. It will be a post request 
we subscription object in the body as a JSON and the on-tent type set to application JSON. So let's add body JSON stringify subscription. It's subscription object as a JSON. And on-tent type of the request, which is application JSON. So let's add it. And when we successfully subscribe, will show an alert. So let's just add simple alert here, just with subscribe test. And now let's run it and check if everything works. First, we will run our server and opypasta E, which we'll use on the client side. And let's run our client as well. First, let's click on subscribe button. And as you can see, we successfully subscribed on our subscription. Let's wait for a bit and I don't see any push notifications. So I guess it's because of I'm recording the video. And yes, my laptop just decided not to disturb me. But as you can see, we have notifications from our server. So everything works as expected. That's all for today's video. I hope you like it. This solution you can find under the video. See you next time. Bye.